everyone's here, and, and now we learn those two pieces, yes. Welcome Reaper fans! Today we have Stormwing by Reaper Miniatures. This is another beast of a miniature. Um, I'm going to be mounting this today onto a base boss, 130mm base. First of all, um, there's a couple of gaps on the legs and the wings. And as always, I'll be using my Veleco plastic putty to fill in all the gaps. This putty is absolutely fantastic for all your miniatures as it turns rock hard and it's so easy to apply um, into all your gaps. Um, I used to use all the green stuff um, but uh, it is, you know, there's a lot of work just to be rolling up your little balls of green stuff and then trying to poke it in all the little holes. With this it's just a case of take the top off and it's so you squirt it in and it's done super easy and quick well worth the pennies so today I will be doing this dragon and I was going to go for a storm dragon and I was thinking blue but I'm thinking that's more um, too light so I'm going to go dark today it's going to be greys and blacks um, but what I'm thinking is I might try and add some kind of lightning effects, I mean lightning storm effects to the base, um, so I'm still working out and thinking how I'm going to do that, but, but first of all I'll get the um, miniature primed, I'll come back and we'll, we'll go from there, um, but I think it's dark greys and blacks and if I add some light lightning effects um, that will really show off the effects around the dragon, so We'll see how we get on with that. So all the primer is done now. I've also added the, the stones to the base. The base is stuck on with PVA glue with the rocks. And all I did then was I gave the whole miniature a primer coat with dragon black. In some places, two coats with dragon black. Now I'm going to dry brush this whole mini in dark colours. I am going to be using a field grey and I'm going to be using tempest grey and I have some dragon white just in case I need to highlight a little bit more. The tempest grey which is this one here that's going to be for the base and slowly working up the dragon but then I'm going to add some to the field grey as well. So we're going to start that now and I will show you how fast and easy it is to dry brush your dragon and make it look effective for the tabletop. Now later on I'm trying to keep this miniature as dark as possible because I want to add some special effects. I am thinking of drilling some holes around the base and onto the miniature and sticking some metal rods in the miniature and then painting them to make it look like um, electricity or lightning coming from the dragon so I mean I've been thinking about it and I'm gonna try out this miniature if it goes all pear-shaped then at least you guys can know it, it won't work <laughs> for next time so I'm going to work my way from the base upwards so I'm going straight into the Tempest Grey I'm using a huge dry brush from Army Painter and I'm heavily going on to the base and instantly all the detail is picked up from the miniature by doing the dry brushing. So we'll just quickly go around the whole of the base. Don't be shy, getting the paint on there. Nice and heavy. 
and as you can see it's nice it's coming up nicely there so what we're going to do now is going straight on the dragon i'm not going to take the paint off my brush i'm going straight into my field field gray and that is gray with a hint of green and this is going all the way up the scales remember against the scales and that'll give a lovely effect along the all of the dragon we're going over all the scales Like I say, I'm trying to keep the dragon dark as well, but I also want to bring out all the detail. So using field grey on this black is just picking out the dragon scales, um, but it's also giving um, you the dark colour that I am looking for for this dragon so I can work with the electricity that I've got in my head which is going to go around this dragon because I want the electricity to look ultra bright next to the dragon about as far as I want to go so far I think I'm going to add a tiny bit of white in with that green that's too much just there we go just make it more more minty colored um, and on certain areas like the tops here just add a little bit of light to the scales there you go top of the thighs there Just certain areas, just where the light might be shining, just making the scales, just a tiny bit on the neck. The legs there, let's get some more paint on the brush, kick the paint off, and just there we go. And just going up the back, don't need much. There we go. See that's still dark, um, and that's what I want. Um, I'm just going to go around the face a tiny bit, just to bring up some more detail on the face. What I'll do is I will pick out the um, all the horns and the claws um, a little bit more with a black later on. Um, and the same with the wings, I am leaving them jet black. I want them black like a bat's wing they're staying black um, I will go along the fingers a tiny weeny bit just to give a little highlight to the wings like on the edges here not much it's just just a tiny bit just to show a tiny bit of detail and it's just so you get the outline of the wings uh, just so you know you can see a bit of definition going around the wings there but you don't need a lot when you're working with blacks and dark colours. Okay, that's good. Alright, I'm just going to highlight the base a little bit more now. I'm just adding some white to my Tempest Grey. And I'm just going back over the base a little bit more, just on certain areas, just to highlight parts of the rock. Now, normally I would do this a lot lighter and I'd add greens but I want to keep this base to a dark theme the whole miniature I want to keep dark with only hints of light I mean this could actually look like moonlight is shining off the rocks it could be wet anything so this works for how I want my base to look So 
that's only two colours on that base and it already looks great with all the details coming out. Now I'm going to let this dry and then I'll come back and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this wire effect with the lightning effects. So let me think about it for five more minutes and then I'm going to come back and show you and see if my crazy, my crazy thoughts are going to work. Okay, after thinking for ages on how I can do this um, effect on the storm wing, I was thinking he's kind of a storm dragon, so uh, maybe um, like a wind effect. Now, I've got this wire from uh, jewellery making, and I think I can wrap this around the dragon, and then add little leaves to the dragon, so it looks like there's a storm, like a, like a tornado going around the dragon. Now I'm going to try that and see if I like it and I'll come back and show you if it, if I think it works. <laughs> if not, then that's the end of the video. <laughs> okay, I've um, pinned and stuck all my wire around the dragon. And all I've done is wrapped it around, wrapped it around and kept on wrapping it around. And it gives the effect, it's going to be like a wind effect going around the dragon as you can see. Um, I hopefully you can see where I'm going with this. You can see how my crazy mind is thinking. Now it's a nice whirlwind of of wind going around, like a, a storm for a storm dragon. Now to make it look more realistic, what I've got is some leaves. These are leaves from Green Stuff World, um, and they just come tiny little leaves now this is going to take me a very long time to do now but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to individually stick leaves in certain places along the wire and what I'll do is I'll put the leaves along the base so it looks like the wind has picked up the leaves and the leaves are going all the way around and flying around the dragon in a whirlwind torrent a storm and I'll come back and show you to see if it, it looks okay or not but I'm gonna have a go at this and um, I will see you in ooh, two weeks time <laughs> this is gonna take ages okay you live and learn you tr trying new things is the key to making miniatures and having a great time so I will get these done and we'll see what happens I'm sure I'm sure it's gonna look great well, I can honestly say I'm quite happy with this. I think it came out fantastic. What I've done, I've added all the leaves to the base. I've stuck all the leaves to the wire going around the miniature. And I've painted in the teeth and the eyes with a blue ink wash to match in with the wires. I'll give you a quick 360. I mean, this is quite a simple paint, but I wanted to add something extra to it. So. I was thinking to begin with of lightning, with the storm, but then with the wire going around and just putting the leaves on, it's given the effect I wanted. Um, and it's not too much. Um, I think it's I think it's great. <laughs> so it looks like it's all surrounded and the wind's flying around and all the leaves are being picked up. And then he's about to cast some kind of spell. There we are. This is Stormwing. What I can do now is um, I'll just show you what it's like with a bit of a smoke effect. Okay, next week's mini is another beast. It's Kanjira. I think I've said that right. This is a huge miniature once again from Reaper. Look at that bad boy. This is next week's paint. So come join the fun. If you enjoy the channel, please sub. If you want to support the channel, then please become my patron. All patrons are added to the end credits of all my videos. So, until next time.
Goodbye, my fellow rats. Sleep well. Dream of evil. Paintbrushes. Ha, <laughs>